Tell me why that's good. Tell me why that's really good. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Mick, what up, bro? Mick, what's happening? I was craving a little impromptu Mick breakfast, Mick meal in the Mick afternoon at 3.30. So that's what we're going to do today. Unfortunately for me, they stopped serving hash browns at 11 o'clock. So we're having fries real quick, but they do serve the McMuffins all through the day. So I got three of those, a double cheeseburger and some fries. And of course, some sweet and sour to dip these hot and fresh and ready fries into. So we're going to smash some fries straight away. And then after I'm done being a mess with that, we're going to try some, an egg McMuffin shootout. I got all three. I got a bacon, I got a sausage, and I got the regular egg mick. But before we do anything, we need to have a hot, sweet and sour dipped. Fry en Francais. French fry. So yeah, 3.30 in the afternoon. Almost did a BK video. Went to the BK parking lot. Checked out their menu. Wanted to do something different than like a Whopper or whatever. Nothing struck me there. So I thought, mm, you know what? I hardly ever eat breakfast items, McDonald's breakfast, egg sandwiches on here. I know McDonald's stays slanging little egg, which is all day. So I brought my ass over here for that. I don't eat a ton of McDonald's breakfast. I've never seen the point. I feel like I'm, if I'm going to McDonald's, I'm going there for Big Mac, double cheeseburgers, things of that nature. There are some people who are absolute attic fiends for McDonald's breakfast. It's good, but I've never been that guy. I will say this, their salsa is out of this world to die for. I asked for some, but they forgot to put it in the bag. So I'm bummed. Also, the hash browns. Are dreamy. I actually prefer the hash browns over their fries. It would be so sick if you could get a Big Mac meal, quarter pounder meal, any type of meal with like three hash browns in place of the fries. That would be a next level McDonald's dream. McDonald's, if you're listening, make that a reality. Game changer. All right, egg McMuffin shootout. We, are, we have to start with the basic plane. We have to graduate up the ladder as we add other things. But this is where it all started, right? The ham cheese, egg, right? That's where it all started. So 
all together. <clears throat> Try a bite as is. Right there. Super rich. Creamy, hot. It's good. Nice and soft. Definitely wishing I had salsa. Would make it better. Gonna try it with mayo. Need salsa. Mayo and salsa together. With just the mayo, it's already so rich. I never get just the straight up McMuffin with the ham piece. In my previous breakfast experiences here, I've always gotten the sausage and egg and the sausage and egg with mayo on it slaps. We'll be doing that here in a moment. I've never understood really getting the breakfast platter. Never been that guy. And I think that's Mainly because I don't love pancakes. Not my jam. The rest of the platter, all right, whatever. All right, same deal. Except this time we got bacon and cheese. Bacon's looking actually pretty good. McDonald's stepped their bacon up, it seems. Maybe not, I don't know. Squishy bite face. Could have used some ketchup maybe. This one seems, the egg seems more cooked than the last one. I like how the last one seemed creamier. Put that one on layaway real quick. Well, we get to my favorite. And that's the sausage. Always has been. Always will be. Right there. See how this egg is. Does this one not have, oh yeah, it has cheese. All together now. That's it. That's what's up. Just that sausage, uh, I don't know. That breakfast sausage flavor. It's so unique. But this one has the good egg in it too. Kind of that yolky runny nice egg watch this actually i'm gonna try something crazy i have an extra sweet and sour here i don't know if this will be terrible or delicious <laughs> but we might as well try it tough 
tell me why that's good. What? Tell me why that's really good. Oh, I could have never seen that coming. wasn't a fluke whoa that's trippy Kathleen was not expecting that to be that good kind of makes sense though because if you think about the McGriddle sausage and egg McGriddle syrupy sweet to play off the salty and the richness so kind of makes sense just never tried it before that's good so what's happening right now is why I don't order a lot of their breakfast food is because it's so rich by the time I get through two of these, just the overwhelming richness of these starts to uh, just exhaust my palate. It becomes hard to enjoy those flavors and then my stomach I don't know my stomach just starts being like okay like we've had enough of this same rich eggy cheesy flavor excuse me if I have dog hair all over me I was just petting and cuddling with my sister's dog I did get a double cheeseburger but man I'm so full not so full but I'm I'm like, definitely can't eat this level of full. <laughs> At this point, just the cheese, the that, that much more cheese is hard to take on, but let's have a bite, we'll see. Rich and cheesy, but that meat, the meat switch up. It is nice. The onions making it feel different, but I definitely can't get through this thing. Probably should have just stuck with just the breakfast sandwiches. Oh, yeah. All right, that's enough for me for that. But yeah, just an impromptu out and about doing stuff day. Back to cooking tomorrow. I got requests to do for the next few days. So I'll have a, be having those roll out this week. But that'll be it for me for now today. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.